most importantly, no, 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 no. If you want to be my remote. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, Bianca Skogan Beauty. I'm so glad to have you here. Also, welcome to my no buy year where I am buying no makeup for the year of 2023. This is my video for my FabFitFun Spring 2023 box. A little explanation. It sounds like you bought something in 2023 with this box. Kind of, not really. Um, I am an annual FabFitFun member, and so I bought this box when I annually, like I think my annual membership renews every, in the summertime. So technically in 2022, I purchased this, but also according to the rules of my no buy, I'm still allowing myself to get subscription boxes. I'm just kind of being kind to myself in allowing myself to get a little bit of makeup incoming. And um, the problem that I have, the shopaholic problem that I have is sales. Sales will happen and then I go on the website and I buy everything. And with these subscription boxes, getting a box, you know, it, with FabFitFun, it's a quarter, with Ipsy, it's every month, It that doesn't play into that. I don't add things into a cart and bit, get tempted to get more and more. Add-ons add-ons. Ipsy and FabFitFun had have add-ons and that that there is what will get me because it's a sale and I can I I that would tempt me. So I am not getting any FabFitFun or Ipsy add-ons. All right, so now that I explained <laughs> that whole process, I am although during this year I am it is a year of discovery for me. So I will be discovering if these boxes are even thing like even something that I want anyways also I did a really fun makeup look today I have my St. Patrick's Day decorations up so I was kind of trying to do a green eye look and I used my Nomad Cosmetics um this is the Monte Verde Cloud Forest palette so I bought this last year and I'm having a fun time you know getting trying to use it it does Hey, there's Bianca. Hi. It pushed me, pushes me outside of my comfort zone, but you know, I actually, when I first was doing it and putting the blue on, I was like, Oh, I'm going to hate this look. I'm going to hate it. And then I love it. I love it. I think it's great. So trust the process when doing your makeup. Don't start over when you put the first thing on and go, I hate this. I guess I could give you some deets about FabFitFun. FabFitFun is a seasonal subscription box that has lifestyle stuff in it. It has makeup. It has that, that fit word. It has some exercise stuff in it. It has home decor in it. It has skincare. It has the sky's the limit. It really does have quite a range of stuff in it. Oh, my headband was falling off. I felt it sliding back. Anyways, I have been getting FabFitFun for a couple of years and I really enjoy it because I like that it's a range of things. I can get stuff for my house. I can get makeup. I can get skincare. I can like really nice skincare. And it, it's, I think it's, they have sunglasses sometimes. They have, they just have a good range of stuff. And uh, if you're an annual member like I am, you get to choose all the all the categories that they have. I think they have six categories and you get to choose everything in every category. If you are a seasonal member, it is $59.99 per box. So $60. I think that when I signed up, it was $50 a box. And then being an annual member made it so that it was $180 a season. So it made it like $45 a box. So it's changed, it's changed a lot, but <laughs> I am still, I, I the prices have increased for me. It's not like I was grandfathered in. So that's fun. Um, if you are an annual member, it is $54.99. So it is still, the reason I am an annual member for FabFitFun is because it is still a better deal to be an annual member. Like for Ipsy, I'm not an annual member. And I don't know, when I used to do Splendies and all, all of the other boxes I've done in my time, I've never been an annual member. Only for FabFitFun because it's the one that I felt like was the one that was worth it the most to be an annual member because first, 
it's less expensive to be an annual member. Second, they let you um, choose everything. They let you have full customization. Third, you get the box sooner. So there's just all of these extra things that you get for being an annual member that makes it so that it, it's worth it to me. And I get bonuses for my job seasonally and I just use that bonus and get, I, I annually subscribe. So it works out. Should we see what I got in my spring 2023 FabFitFun box? You know, I actually, a lot of the time, I will have already kind of dug into here. I didn't. I was like, you know what, Bianca, let's, let's be surprised. Okay, technically you might think, Bianca, how is it a surprise? You just told us that you were able to come up, customize 100%. You may not know <laughs> that I have the memory of a gnat. I do. Actually, my husband's always really jealous because we'll go see a movie in a theater and then we'll watch it again on whatever streaming service. And I'm like, what happens at the end? And he's like, we already saw this. And I'm like, yeah, I completely forgot. And he's like, oh my gosh, I would love to have your memory. And I'm like, no, you wouldn't because school was really hard for me. <laughs> Life is hard for me because I can't remember anything. The only thing is movies and books are, I can reread a, a book or rewatch a movie and have no memory. But then I've read an entire series of books and then a new book will come out and I have to read the entire series again because I completely forgot. So it's really a bad thing. It, it, it isn't good. Okay. Anyways. So yes, <laughs> I did customize this whole entire thing. Do I remember? Kind of. Okay. Packing supplies. I think I got an email because in the box, in the box, they have usually a magazine, but the magazine no longer has what all of the categories are. So I don't even know why I'm looking for it. I'm going to see if I can find the email. I had an email that talked about the categories. So let's, let's see if I can find that for the life of me. I looked for an email and I couldn't find one that had all of the customization choices. And they got rid of the magazine, which I think is for the good because once they stopped putting all the choices in it, I didn't pay attention to it. I didn't care about it. So now they're saving paper. Yay. Though we still get like add on little things. What did I get for my first choice? So they have one through six choices. I feel like at one time it was eight, but as of right now, it's six. <laughs> that just might be my horrible memory, but the first, the first two choices always have the big ticket items or bigger ticket items in it. And they have tons of choices and it's always really tempting because it, you want to get tons of those choices. If you're in a, in a no buy, stay, stay strong. I'm telling myself that <laughs> the choices after that have less big ticket items and to buy an add on or to is, is less expensive. Like the first and second choice, I think if you get an extra, if you get more than just one of the items, it's $15. And then the choices after that, it's less, it's like 10 and then like seven or eight. It, it depends on what it is. Um, and I have in the past gotten, got add-ons, but I'm trying to not do that. So what did I get in my first choice? This is a weird and interesting one because, okay, it's actually not the smallest thing in my box, <laughs> but it, it's pretty small. It's from coach. It is compatible with the Apple watch. Okay. Which is funny because I'm not wearing my watch. It's plugged in right now. Let me get it. Okay. Oh my gosh. Here, we go. Here is my Apple watch. I have just the, the standard band that it came with and I thought it was really fun that, and I think I have, I have one of the older watches. It's not the first one that came out, but I think it's like generation three. I don't, I bought it like I got it for Christmas five years ago, six years ago. I don't, I don't remember. It still works. So I still use it. So this, this coach band, um, if you can see without my ring light, it has little C's for coach and it's kind of like a turquoisey mint greeny blue color. So I thought it was fun. I thought it was fun. Was it like, I, I feel like sometimes the first choice, not only is it like the bigger price, 
choice but sometimes it's like a big actual like it's a bag or something like a big choice and then it feels like oh, I got something really big in my box and I didn't <laughs> I got something small but is it something I'm going to use every single day because it's going to be on my watch yes so I thought that was really fun let's see I brought up um what this is hello subscription on my phone and I am just looking at some of it, it I looked up spring 2023 fab fun spoilers and that's how I actually am finally getting this list of what some of the first custom made the first choice options were there was these cups by Jonathan Adler there was something from Fenty Skin there was the coach wristband which is what I got it says that that was an $85 value woot woot watch not included which is a pretty big like I'm glad they put that there that would have been a really expensive one. Actually, I feel like there's been choices that were like $250 before, but the Apple Watches are like $400, right? I don't know. It's been a really long time. See, memory of an app. Um, this is what I'm talking about, about the, the big item, the bag. There's always a bag. There's always a bag. We like bags. They carry things. Anyways, it's, it's, uh, it's a cooler bag, actually. There's something from... Summer Fridays, see, sunglasses. I said the sunglasses, these are from Kate Spade. Those are some, ooh, $125, $29 value sunglasses, swanky. Okay, am I, see, this is what I was talking about. I was like, am I still in choice one? There's so many options for choice one. There's Amika, which is a nice hair care brand. It's a shampoo and conditioner, Hydro Rush. Then this one I was actually, this one was on my, I was contemplating this one. It is a Lumina, NRG three in one eye lift. I ended up not getting it because um I was like, what is that? First of all, second of all, I have a tendency to get those things lost in a drawer somewhere and then forget about them and not use them. So I took it off the off. I didn't get it. But it's $149 value. Okay, so now choice two. See, there was a lot of choices and there probably are more. So those, th that's just in this spoiler page. Uh, they usually add more be when you actually can buy things because um, things will sell out. And so they're, they have the annual subscription members go first and then the seasonal ones go second. And it, you, you can't just run out of things. They have to have choices. So they'll have even more options. So I don't even have all of the options, but those are, that's a good a good bunch of them okay for choice number two they have this steel and mill co planning bundle i actually got that one time it was really cute and it's in a drawer somewhere getting forgotten Anywho, <laughs> um then there was like a pj set i don't know i like to be really cozy and this is like sleeveless and shorts and i'm in utah it is freezing here we just got two feet of snow which was ridiculous. That's it's, and I, I like to be cozy. So I'm constantly bundling up and I live with a Viking who is six, seven and he's very big and he runs hot. So our house is cold and I'm, I'm, I'm always layered. So that was like, nah, I don't need that. Uh, let's see more Jonathan Adler glasses. I, nah, <laughs> that just doesn't interest me. A candle. I love candles, but I feel like it was, it's like a tiny eight ounce candle for $31. Maybe not worth it to me. Um, some plates. These were things. Okay. If I needed a set of plates, this would be a really good thing. I don't need plates. I have plates. My husband and I have been married for 15 years. We, we have plates. Okay. This is what I ended up getting from commodity gold expressive. Okay. This is a perfume and from what I've done a tiny bit of research, a tiny bit of research, this commodity brand has different expressions of the scent. So they have um, like a little dot system. Oh, can you even see that? Yeah, you can. They have a dot system for, there it is, there it is, for how expressive the scent will be. So right here, it has the tiny, like two little dots. So that one is personal. If you want the scent to just be like in a little cloud bubble, a little personal cloud bubble, but nobody else will smell it around you. Then there is the expressive one. So there's four dots around the little dot. And so <laughs> I'm going to open this. The plastic is making it hard to see and I want to smell this. I haven't smelled it yet. 
The, so that one, the expressive means that a, a tight knit, knit, a tight knit group of people around you, like maybe your cubicle buddies will be able to smell you, but not like the entire office. And then you've got bold. So then you've got a whole bunch of people. <laughs> So like that is when you walk into the office and everyone's like, whoa, Bianca, you smell good. <laughs> so anyways, this one is the middle one. It's expressive. And what is the scent called? Gold, commodity gold. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so this one's gold. Do we have any like scent notes? I remember reading the scent notes and thinking they were good. So obviously that's why I got it. And I've, I've always been, I recently, okay. I've always been a big fan of scents and good scents, but recently it's become a thing where I really have been getting into it. The expressive is for me and the many around me. So I feel like the cubicle mem mates was a good, um, way of describing that. Okay. Bianca, you are going way too long on this. I'm, I'm going too long. I'm not going to show you all of the things anymore because I'm just going to show you what I got. Okay, let's see. It smells caramely. Ooh, vanilla. A little of that like root beer floatness to it. Oh, it smells a lot like this Dior Hypnotic Poison. I feel like this one smells like root beer float. Although my husband who loves root beer float, who loves root beer floats is like, that doesn't smell like root beer float. And I'm like, what? Yeah, it totally smells like, okay. Well, <laughs> is it bad because I already had this one? Yeah, I'm sure they smell. Okay, here, this is what we're gonna do. You guys can't smell this. So I don't know why I'm even, this is, Okay, yeah, this one's sweeter. This one is definitely sweeter. Okay, so the Dior one is sweeter. This one's a little bit spicier. So the Commodity Gold one's a little spicier. Okay, great. All right, but I like it. I enjoy scents. Do I wish that it smelled a little different from one I already own? Yes, obviously, but I own it. So that means it was something that I like. All right, Okay, the, and that was a $70 value. Okay, the next thing that I got. Choice number three, the smallest thing in my box. It's a lipstick and it's from Pat McGrath Labs. Okay, um, I think I, I did this one time before where I got just a lipstick for a choice. It was for um, Bite Beauty, which is funny because Bite Beauty is now not a, a brand. They still have their lip labs, but they don't sell anything anymore. So, that is kind of lame <laughs> that I got and one of my choices is a full-size lipstick from them, but it's a, still a nice lipstick. Any hoozle, I got one lipstick for an entire choice. I would say, because I know that I love Pat McGrath and I'm in a beauty or I'm in a makeup no buy right now. So getting a new lipstick is like, Ooh, beautiful. I love that. But for other people who don't know who Pat McGrath is, like me a couple of years ago, and people not in a beauty no buy, this isn't the best option. Because let's see, it's a $39 value. $39 for a lipstick is ridiculous. That is ridiculous. I actually bought some of her lipsticks last Christmas when she had her like $12 lipstick sale. So $12 for a lipstick, that's fantastic. So these lipsticks can sell for $12. So, but the retail price is 39. Anyways, eh, it's an interesting choice. It's an interesting choice. Okay, it's a nice, pretty pink neutral. It looks pretty similar to what I have on right now, actually. It is in the shade Soft Core. And there was another one. I think there was um, Fembot. And I had actually bought Fembot already in the $12 sale. So I was like, I'll just get Soft Core. I like it. It's a great, it is a very nice lipstick. Would I pay $39 for this lipstick? No. Would I pay $12 or at, get it as an option? Sure, sure I would. $39, no. But it's a good lipstick, it's a good lipstick. Okay, more options. Okay, choice number four. I know I said I wasn't gonna show you things, but I have a problem, I didn't know. They had a spoon rest and I really was contemplating this because I think they're, it, it's so like aesthetically pleasing looking with the two different colors. I didn't end up getting that. 
Okay, these Illamasqua bronzers, sculptors, I got those one other time. They have some throwbacks in there. This was the worst sculptor bronzer I've ever had. It had, look how dark they look. Look how they all look really, really dark. I think I got the lightest one. And the, the actual gel looked like this really, really deep mahogany brown. I shouldn't say mahogany because I don't know what color mahogany is. <laughs> it was just a really deep brown. I put it on my skin. It was like, where's the color? Where's the color? Nothing. Nothing. Terrible. Terrible. Sorry, El Masca. That was a terrible sculptor bronzer thingy. Anyways. <laughs> okay. What did I get? Here it is. From Amika. This is what I ended up getting. I love getting hair products because I have a lot of hair. And it is the Amika Dream Routine Overnight Hydration Treatment. And so uh, I love, I love treating my hair. I love putting on masks and just giving my hair the boost that it needs because I dye it and I curl it and I street iron it and it goes through a lot and it's time on my head. So I try to give it some masks and treatments. So I was excited about this one. It seemed nice and I like Amika. It's a, it's a good hair care brand. That one is worth $28. Then the next option. Okay. Option five. I got a Grace and Stella. Shh, let's just sleep. It's a sleep mask. Okay. Um, I get headaches and migraines. I am lucky enough to have inherited that from my mother who I think inherited it from her father and my poor son. He now gets migraines and headaches. Actually not migraines yet, I don't think, just headaches. And I feel for him. Oh, cute, you open it and it says, good choice. That's so cute. I did make a good choice, thanks. Okay, it's an eye mask. You put it on your face. And so this will work as eye masks do to block out light, but also you can put it in the microwave or you can put it in the freezer. So it will help with like headaches or eye pain, eye strain. And I think that's great. It says hot and cool gel bead eye mask. Directions to use warm in the microwave. It says, uh, and then also to, to keep cool, keep it in the freezer for 10 to 15 minutes. So yeah, yeah. I, I think this, I got this because I thought it would be really nice when I have a really bad headache. Um, I like to go in my room and turn off the lights and close my eyes and try and you know take some medicine and then I could also have that on my eyes right right I thought that was nice how much was that that was an $18 value so not by any means my most valuable choice but for me it I, I think it's gonna be a great choice for me I, I I think it's valuable to me the last choice is always kind of interesting because I feel like sometimes the last choice will have, can I say a soup sandwich? I say soup sandwich a lot. I think it's something I got for my husband and nobody knows what I'm talking about. It's like if you made a sandwich out of soup, it would just run everywhere. It wouldn't work. The last choice is always kind of a soup sandwich. I feel like it's kind of leftovers from other boxes. It's sometimes they have like, they have a lot of options. Like they'll have, I mean, all of them have options, but they'll have like one kind of expensive choice or two uh, medium expensive choices or three really inexpensive choices. And they just kind of are like, here, what do they say? They throw noodles at the wall and see what sticks. It's just kind of like, we don't know. And there's a lot of throwbacks in there. And so the last choice is always, it's never my favorite choice, let's just say. Uh, there's always, I, I, I have a hard time picking anything from the last choice. Normally I, I, it, not every time. Sometimes there's a good choice in the last choice, but it's pretty rare. Anywho, what did I get? What did I get? Actually, there was this, there was a, a towel that I was, was contemplating getting and My husband was like, we have so many towels. And I was like, yeah, but can you ever have enough towels? I mean, I guess. We do have a lot of towels and I've gotten a couple from FabFitFun in past boxes. So 
when I'm doing the, the laundry and washing all the towels, yeah, I think you can probably have enough. So what I ended up getting was this Necess N Necessaire. It is a body serum. Okay. This is something I do have a lot of towels, but do I have a body serum? Now I do. I didn't previously have a body serum. I have facial serums. I even have an under eye serum, which is new. I, I just found that in my Alexandra's of stuff, <laughs> but now I have a body serum and I feel like I didn't, did I need a body serum? No, what I've been using has been fine, but with the two feet of snow outside and how dry and cold it is, I was like, could it hurt to have extra moisturization? No, no, it couldn't. So, although I did order this before the two feet of snow, but not before it was freezing outside. It's been freezing for months. Anyways, it has hyaluronic acid in it. It says hyaluronic acid isn't just for plumping your face. I got a body serum. That is a $45 value. So let's see if I can add that all up here. Normally I add it up in my description box, but I'm gonna use my calculator on my watch and my broken phone and then I'm recording with this phone. I'm just, it's, we're gonna make it all work here. It says $285. My box was worth $285. I paid $55 because I'm an annual member. That's not including taxes. And I got 285. Is this my best value box? No, I think in the past I've gotten values up of like $500, but I feel like those are always ones that have like ridiculous skincare that is like this bottle of skincare is $150. And I'm like, mm, that's nice. Except I'll never repurchase that. My most expensive item was $85 and that was the watch band. So I kind of, it may not be my most valuable box, but I'm okay with that because these are things that I might even repurchase. Like the Amica was, this would be something I, if, if I like it, I would like to be able to repurchase it because if, if it really works for, for my hair, if it's really moisturizing, if, if I see a difference that it is making my hair nice, you know, I, I might want to be able to repurchase it. And I, if it's $150, well then I'm just going to have to hope that FabFitFun has it in their box again. You know what I mean? And it's $28. So $28. I think they sell Amica at Sephora. So during the Sephora 20% off sale, $20 is less than that. You know, it's something that I could repurchase. I won't need to repurchase the $85 watch band because hopefully watch bands last for a while. Right. Um, let's see something else. The commodity perfume. Actually, I think they're actually not perfumes. I think they're gender neutral. Anywho, the, I was mentioning before that I bought this guy. This Dior, I think these are a similar amount. No, they're not. Okay, that makes sense. This is 1.7 and this is one ounce. This, okay, memory of a gnat here. I think this was like $85. This was $60. And I was like, oh, well, they smell pretty much the same. This is like expensive. This is actually more, so more fluid. Okay, so there, I was like, if I don't want to have to repurchase this one, this one's less. But actually, price per ounce, it might not be. But I actually, I might like this one better. The tiny difference that they smell. Anyways, although one might have a longer, like the scent might last longer. Although the Dior one lasts for, like it'll last all day. So we'll see, we'll see. Anyways, I do. I really like this box. My, not my most like actually like retail valuable box, but to me, I like it. I think it's a good box. I don't need a $500 box to be, ex uh, to be a good box because then I'm not going to repurchase anything that is <laughs> like really over overpriced goods. So I do. I really like this box as of right now. I am like with my Ipsy unboxing, I was kind of on the fence about whether or I would be continuing on Ipsy um, in my 2023 no buy. With FabFitFun, I'm seeing that it is 
not terrible. I, I, I'm getting things that are, are good for my hair. I'm getting things that are good for my headaches. I'm getting things like I'm looking that I got something for my watch that I'm not wearing right now. It was plugged in. <laughs> I, you know, I got a little bit of makeup. I, it's, it's a well-rounded box. And so I do think that this might be one that I might continue to repurchase. But Ipsy, you are on the fence. I don't know. Okay. Well, if you like this video, like this video. And if you want to see more of me, consider subscribing to my channel. And most importantly, no, 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 no. If you want to be more if you want to be reminded of my videos, push the bell. And most importantly, be nice to yourself because you are amazing. You really are. Have a great day. Bye.